Hello everyone, my name is Miss Skelly and I will be taking your lesson for today. In the previous lesson, you were set the following activity. You had to sort some expressions into three groups, so each expression would match one of those groups. The first group are expressions that had a sum less than 10. The second group were expressions with a sum equal to 10. And the third group were expressions which equal to a sum more than 10. So let's look at the first expression, eight add two. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, 10 is made of eight and two, two and eight, which means that eight and two should fit in my second group because eight and two is equal to 10. Seven add one. Hmm. Well, I know that 10 is made of seven and three, three and seven. But hang on, I haven't got three here, I've got one. And one is less than three, which means that this expression will be equal to a sum less than 10. And finally, six add six. Six is made, 10 is made of six and four, four and six. But I haven't got the add end four here, I've got the add end six. And seeing as six is more than four, this means this expression will be more than 10. It will be equal to more than 10. Here is an equation. 10 subtract six is equal to a missing number. Now I can calculate this. I can start at 10 on my number line because that's my whole. And I can, come back, I can count back six, so let's see how we do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. 10 subtract six is equal to four. Now I want you to hold up your hands for me and we're going to do that on our fingers too. So what we're going to do, we're gonna hold up 10 fingers and we're going to subtract six of them. So watch me very, very carefully. 10 subtract six. And what number am I left with? Let's see on the screen too. That's right, I'm left with four fingers. But I don't know about you. I think this takes a very, very long time. Is there a better way to subtract six rather than counting back in once? So let's think about what we already know about these numbers. So I can represent this, these numbers in, in the equation as a bar model. So I know that 10 is my whole, so I'm going to put that in the whole bar on my bar model. And six is a part, so I'm going to put that beneath my whole. And I know my missing number is the other part. And I already know that my missing number is four. So I can put that also beneath my, my hole and next to my other part six. I wonder, what do you notice about these numbers? Pause the video if you want to think or to discuss with somebody in your house. Now, I know what I notice. 10 is made of six and four, four and six. Hmm, that's much better because if I know my addition pairs to 10, this can also help me with my subtraction. So our bar model is very, very clever because we can cover up six, which leaves us with four. So we can say 10 subtract six is equal to four, but what we can also say is if we cover up the four, 10 subtract four, is equal to six. So this would explain why counting back in ones on the number line isn't needed. We don't need to count back to subtract from 10. 
because we can use our knowledge of pairs of numbers that sum to 10. In this case, 10 is made of 6 and 4, 4 and 6. It's not just about getting to the answer. It's about making connections and using what you know. So let's look at another equation. A missing number is equal to 10 subtract 2. Now I know that 10 is my whole, so I'm going to put that in the whole bar on my part bar model. And 2 is one of my parts, so that can go beneath the whole. Now I don't know what my missing number is, but what I can do is think about number pairs that sum to 10, which have 2 as one of their numbers. So have a pause. What number pairs that sum to 10 have a 2 as one of their numbers? Pause the video or have a discussion with somebody. So let's go through our number bonds. 10 is made of 10 and 0, 0 and 10. I haven't said the number 2 yet, so let's go to the next one. 10 is made of 9 and 1, 1 and 9. Nope, I've not heard the number 2 yet. 10 is made of 8 and 2, 2 and 8. That's it. 10 is made of 8 and 2, 2 and 8. My missing number is 8. We don't need to subtract in ones. We can use our knowledge of pairs, some number pairs that sum to 10. 10 is made of 8 and 2, 2 and 8, which means 10 subtract 2 must be 8. So we've got another equation here. 10 subtract a missing number is equal to 9. Now let's have a think. 10 is our whole, so that's going to go in the whole bar on our bar model. And 9 is one of our parts, so that can go in the bar beneath my whole. Now I don't know what my missing number is, but I'm going to have a think. What number pairs that sum to 10 have a 9 as one of their numbers? Pause the video to have a discussion with someone or to have a think. Now we're going to go through our number bonds again and see if we can hear the number 9 pop up in them. So, 10 is made of 10 and 0, 0 and 10. I can't hear the number 9, let's go to the next one. 10 is made of 9 and 1, 1 and 9. Did you just hear the number 9? I did. 10 is made of 9 and 1, 1 and 9. This means my missing number must be 1. 10 subtract 1 is equal to 9. Now, we have a lot of equations here. Let me read them for you. 10 subtract 4 is equal to something, or missing number. 10 subtract 5 is equal to a missing number. 10 subtract 6 is equal to a missing number. And 10 subtract 7 is equal to a missing number. Can you see any connections? Pause the video if you want to think or to discuss with someone. Remember, we can use our knowledge of number pairs to 10 to subtract from 10. So let's remember our chance. Let's go through it before we do these questions. 10 is made of 10 and 0, 0 and 10. 10 is made of 9 and 1, 1 and 9. 10 is made of 8 and 2, 2 and 8. 10 is made of 7 and 3, 3 and 7. 10 is made of 6 and 4, 4 and 6. 10 is made of 5 and 5. So let's look at the first one. 10 subtract 4 is equal to something. So I can draw my bar model with 10 as my whole and 4 as one of my parts. And let's remember our chant. 10 is made of 6 and 4, 4 and 6. 6 is our missing number because 4 and 6 add together to, add together to equal 10. Let's look at the next one. 10 subtract 5. 
10 is made of 5 and 5, which means my missing number must be 5. 10 subtract 6. 10 is made of 6 and 4. 4 and 6. My missing number is 4. 10 subtract 6 is equal to 4. What about 10 subtract 7? 10 is made of 7 and 3. 3 and 7. So 3 must be our missing number. So let's look at these equations now. Can you spot a pattern? Pause the video if you want to think or to just discuss with someone. So remember, we can use our knowledge of number pairs to 10 to subtract from 10. So let's have a think about the first one. 10 subtract a missing number is equal to 10. Now it looks like that number 10 appears at the beginning of my equation and also at the end, which means that we haven't subtracting subtracted anything. So we've got nothing to show on our bar model. So we've got 10 here. We've got zero here and 10 below my, my hole. 10 is made of 10 and zero, zero and 10. 10 subtract a missing number is equal to two. So let's think about pairs of numbers. 10 is made of eight and two, two and eight, which means my missing number must be eight and two goes there in my bar model. So 10 subtract eight is equal to two. Next one, 10 subtract a missing number is equal to four. Now, 10 is made of six and four, four and six. So that means my missing number, my missing part is six. And again, I've got the zero coming up, but I'm, I'm one step ahead now. 10 is made of 10 and zero, zero and 10. Remember, because we've got zero as one of our parts, we've got nothing to show on the bar model, so that won't be there. But we can show our whole, which is 10, and our missing part, which is 10. So here's your practice activity for today. I would like you to fill in the missing numbers for each equation and draw a bar model to show the relationship between the numbers for each equation. For example, if I've got 10 subtract 1, 10 is my whole, and I'm going to put that at the top of my bar model, and 1 is my part, so that can go underneath. And all I've got to work out is what my missing number is going to be, and I can use my number bond pairs to work that out. 10 is made of 9 and 1, 1 and 9. I wonder what the missing part, the missing number is going to be.